Oh, there it goes. And yes. Look at that. Oh, man, that's some air. Uh, uh oh. Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today we are back with another amazing creation. So today is going to be a mixture of, we'll call it sinking survival, we'll call it a creations episode. And uh, overall, you guys have to check this thing out. This is a mobile base by Lorgs. Now, Lorgs is a very, very awesome creator on the workshop. We actually uh, checked out uh, quite a few of their creations, and yeah, anything made by Lorgs is going to be amazing. So this is the Opulent Orca, which I think I'm saying that right. But yeah, this is a fully featured mobile base. Uh, it's got tons of features here. It's got a uh, boat in the back. Let's go ahead and zoom back here. You've got a boat, you've got a rocket turret up at the top. Uh, looks like it's partially, if not all, solar powered here. Uh, this thing is absolutely insane. This is kind of like what I pictured my tsunami base could have been if I could build like this, because this thing is just incredible. So it does have a sink feature on it, but I think we're just gonna try to put this thing to the test here today and see what it's got. So as you can see, it is quite laggy here in the dock. I actually need to open up the door here, uh, which there's a door somewhere it's got a little code or a keypad on it. Now, if you're asking uh, where is the build episodes, they are coming back here very shortly, hopefully by the weekend. Uh, because, yeah, I've been busy. If you don't know, I'm actually moving right now, and I'm getting my setup set up over there, and it's uh, it's taken a lot of my time, so I've done a little bit more on the creation side, and we've done some multiplayer episodes. We had a Sinking Survival uh, just the other day, if you want to check that out. I'll flash it in the top right corner, but let's go ahead and put in this code real quick. All right, so it says 8592. Okay, so we got a little security here. I'd like to figure out how to do this. This would be really, really good for the... Uh, the tsunami base that I was doing. All right, let's go ahead and put this in here. So here we are. We are inside, and this thing is just ridiculous. Like, I love the window design in here. I love how open it is. Like, if I wanted a mobile base, I would want this. Oh, boy. All right, so we need to figure out how to start this thing up real quick and get it moving. Uh, that way I can... Is that an auto... What? Okay, that was an automated door. That is... Okay, this is ridiculous. All right, let me go see if I can find the uh, the bridge here, and we'll get it started up. That way we can clear up some of the lag. All right, so I believe this is the bridge right here. So we have mobility engines. Let's go ahead and fire those up real quick. Uh, hold forward for throttle. Okay. Uh. Uh. Wait. Did, did we do something wrong? I probably should read the instructions here. Uh. Let's see. <laughs> Alarms. Uh. Hold on. Let's see if we get this thing to move forward real quick. Oh, there it goes. All right, so oh wait, yeah, we're moving, and watch this. The lag's gonna clear up pretty much instant. Oh yeah, that's already feeling a lot better. I did actually want to do this one in multiplayer, but me and Obi decided to do a different ship uh, because I was getting uh, quite a bit of lag. Uh, hopefully, multiplayer one day will get in a state where you can actually do the really, really big creations and the really complex ones. Uh, we always have problems sometimes with big creations and the uh, the creations actually desyncing. All right, so we are moving. So it's got a, it's AD is actually moved sideways. So it kind of does like a, a strafe or something. And then your left to right is your actual rotate here. I think this thing basically turns on a dime, which is actually really cool. So I'm pretty sure you can use this thing for uh, several things, maybe rescues. Maybe you just want to live out on the ocean. I, I actually, uh, I'm kind of curious. Like, is this thing self-sustaining? Is that what the solar panels are? Are you going to have a constant charge? And also, what is the fuel situation like on this? Uh, we'll have to uh, go into it and discover some of that. Now, real quick question. Do we have a... Okay, that's a monitor. Oh, yep, it's loading the system. Uh, let's go ahead and pull this up. Let's see if we got an autopilot. So this is... Okay, so that's going to tell us our battery situation. Which, it looks like the battery was draining initially, but it looks like it's stabilized. Or, actually, it's still draining slightly. Uh, see, there's a generator RPS. So, yeah, there's a, uh, there's a generator somewhere that I need to actually turn on. Uh, let's get our radar on. Exterior lights on. There's our anchors. Okay, so we have our, uh, power over here. 
This over here. Oh, these are uh, seals, I guess, for. Wait, storm hatches. Oh. Unlock emergency action. So I'm assuming if you're in like a heavy storm, maybe tsunami. This thing's got storm hatches? Oh man, that's cool. Okay, there's bailing pumps, there's your alarm, and then there is a uh, there's a scuttle feature down at the bottom if you do want to sink it. Alright, so let's go ahead and see if we can find uh actually those are gonna close by themselves, aren't they? Yep. All right, let me go and see if I can find a generator or something. All right, so real quick, what I just read is that the generators on this ship are actually automatic. So when the battery drops below 90%, they're going to kick on and start to charge the battery back. So you don't even have to worry about that at all. Now, another cool feature, and you'll see it as I walk around this base. Uh, as we walk through certain areas, you'll see that the lights are automatic. So there's sensors uh, that will turn on stuff. So say if I walk into here, actually looks like these were already on but I've noticed in certain parts when I walk by something which that might was well, that the generator there that might have been the generator but yeah if you walk by certain parts the lights actually turn on yep I hear uh, another engine just kicked on so it's probably the generators there so we do have cabins here so you have oh man these living quarters are amazing actually man could you picture having this room you have the bed here you've got the view out the front oh that is insane now Besides being just a probably a really good like weather base, uh, this thing has a, a rocket turret up at the top. Actually, it might be above where we are now. I definitely want to deploy that here in a second, so we'll do that. We'll probably take the small boat out, try it out, and then we're going to put this thing up uh, against probably numerous things, maybe a tsunami. We'll put it on lockdown mode, maybe even megalodons. We'll see what this base can take. I really do think this thing's going to hold up really well, though. All right, so we're going up here out the top. Let's make sure we're not heading towards anything. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, we're going to pass by a uh, island, but I think we're actually okay here. Uh, by the way, there's a landing pad back here. Uh, so that's actually fairly decent size, so you can land a helicopter back here. Uh, I believe this is the turret, so let's go ahead, jump up. Uh, do we just climb into this? Ooh. All right. So, say if for some reason you're under attack here, you can actually defend yourself with rockets. So you can fire a single rocket or you can fire the full barrage. It looks like there are 12 rockets here. So, hold on, let's go back into first person. So it's got a little targeting system. Yeah, and it actually says 12 right there. Man, how do people create this? Oh man, it's gonna be a shame when I have to go back to my tsunami base. You know, I'm proud of my base. I'm proud that we uh, were able to build something. It's just never going to be as advanced as this. So let's go ahead. Let's fire a single rocket. Oh, there it goes. That is awesome. So say when Storm works, which I think eventually they are going to get weapons. Could you imagine coming under attack from like fighters and you can actually uh, shoot those down? That would be incredible. Uh, let's go ahead and fire the barrage here. There we go. That's awesome. That is really awesome. All right, so one thing I am noticing, I'm noticing a lot of cameras on this, and I need to figure out if there's like a camera room or there's something. Uh, I believe that right there is probably the uh, the radar. So it's detecting, it should detect that island once we get close. Uh, let's go ahead and go back down into the, actually I don't want to fall here. I do have survival on by the way. Like this is going to be a survival episode once we kick everything up. I just want to walk around and discover all the things there are to discover on this real quick. All right, so we appear to be in a living quarters. What, what is this? Wait, TV. Wait. <laughs> That's ridiculous. So we have it. Wait, I can see myself. So the camera is that one right there. <laughs> so yeah, we got a, a TV here. I can actually uh, view the front of the ship from down here. That is neat. It's really, really neat. What are these? Okay, general lights. Go and turn these on real quick. Heaters. All right, it's looking good. Now I'm looking around, maybe that was, wait, there's a little hatch here in the floor. I wonder what this is. Well, wait a minute. I think this is a seal. So if you uh, remember when we were in the bridge, there was a emergency mode where you could seal parts of the ship. So say if you get damage up here in the front, I believe this door here comes up and it seals against this door. So it seals the compartment off. That is actually genius. That is really, really cool. All right. So one more thing, or actually, do I want to save this? I think I might save this. So this is a uh, a little, I think they call it like a RIB or RHIB or something like that. It's a, a little basically craft uh, that you can use for rescues. You can drive it out the back. And I think, is it all controlled from here? So steering, throttle, engine on, reverse, 
Release mode is right there. Do I need to open the door before I release, or does it do it all just off of that button? Uh, there's a front connector. I don't know. I know you can dock this back, too. So, say the back end's going to be open, you could drive back up into this. So, I think we're going to use that for a means of survival here today. Let's go ahead and close this door. Uh, let's head back up to the bridge real quick. I'm going to do one more little, uh, probably free cam tour just to make sure I haven't missed anything. Which, by the way, there's a kitchen in here. Yep, that's a thing. <laughs> also, one last thing I'm noticing on all these doors. Oh, there's locks on everything. So, yeah, you can uh, turn the key there and lock all of your doors. Uh, that would be a really cool feature uh, to have on my little tsunami bunker. Oh, what's this back here? Does this just head back? Is there more cabins? Actually, yep, look, more cabins here. So, we can open the door. Uh, so, we got more living quarters. That's actually, uh, it's really neat. All right, let's go ahead and head back up to the bridge. All right, so I think I found the last area of the ship. I, I told you guys we we're going to go over like a visual tour as far as a free cam, but I think this is it here. So, check this out. There are surveillance cameras everywhere on this. That's actually really cool. And also, back here, you do have a little radio station. So, if you want to contact other people, uh, that's gonna be really neat once you get like a pretty decent sized server. What's this? Oh, it's a map table. That's cool. So yeah, it would be really neat once you get like a decent sized server. Say people are pretty far away from each other. Even if you weren't in the same voice call, you can sit there and communicate back and forth uh, between ships, which is really, really neat. Alright, so you guys know what time it is. It's time to put this thing through its paces. So I think the first thing we're gonna do, let's just do basic waves. How can this thing handle that? We'll do waves. We'll uh, make it a little bit more intense with the rain. I don't think anything's going to get as intense as last weekend when we uh, played with, it was an icebreaker, and those were the biggest waves I've ever seen in Storm Wars. Like, these are pretty decent size, but I don't think it's going to get near as big as what it was uh, last week. I don't know what it was about that one spot, but it was uh, pretty magical. All right, so we're looking pretty good. What's it like being inside of this when the waves are uh, going around? This actually isn't bad at all. Feels stable. Uh, yeah. About as stable as you're going to get for a really, really big platform out here. Well, we can see out the side. I love these windows. Oh, these are great. All right, so we got that going for us here. Uh, let's see. What else can we do? Do we need any sort of emergency? I don't need to read these. So that's the rear compartment, front compartment, and storm hatches. What are the storm hatches? Hold on, let's turn this on real quick. Uh, I want to hit these. All right, let's go. Storm hatches. What is it closing? Uh... Oh, look at that! Holy man, it shut down all the windows on the bottom! That is ridiculous! So yeah, this thing's got full-blown storm hatches. Are those uh, Megalodon proof? <laughs> I want to say no, but... Uh, oh yeah, that's... Yeah, completely sealed those off. That's a neat feature. So, yeah, that's also a question. That added an extra layer to the windows, at least. So if a Megalodon were to hit you in the side, uh, you might actually be okay. So let's go ahead and turn those off real quick. All right, so those are going to go down. That is neat. All right, so high waves obviously don't seem to be really an issue for this thing at all. Which, by the way, I believe that's a pool in the front. I think the pool is a... Uh, yeah, I think it just drained half of its water. <laughs> they get all spilt out. All right, so next test. Let's go ahead. we got to do the tsunami test. And then we'll do a megalodon test here in a second. So waves are going this way. Ah, there it is. All right, so let's turn this thing. We're going to face this tsunami here. All right, folks, here we go. What do you guys think's going to happen? Are we going to ride over it, or are we going to go under it? Oh, huh, what's this look like from the cockpit? Oh, buddy. That is cool. Okay, so just gas it up. It's probably going to start to sink a little bit here. Uh, no, it's moving up it. Oh, we might be jumping this bad boy. All right, keep going. Wait, are we riding with it? It doesn't seem... Oh, yeah, we are still climbing the wave. Oh, there it goes. And... Yes! Look at that! Oh, man, that's some air. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's a big splash! And took it like a champion. Let's go and activate all our emergency procedures. So let's go seal, seal, seal. Okay. And it's going to seal the weather blinds. There they go. All right. Uh, we're tracking through. So there should be a megalodon in the water. Question is, where exactly did it spawn in? You know, we should have saved some missiles for it. Actually, I don't know if... Can it aim that far down? 
Might be kind of hard to hit stuff in the ocean with that missile launcher. Maybe other ships would be easy, but down, I don't know if you're going to aim it like that. Hold on, where is it? That's a, it's always a bit of a concern when you don't know where the Megalodon spawned. Okay. Well, we're all sealed up, so I think the, uh, the ship itself, uh, I haven't really looked down in the hole. I, I think this thing's pretty safe. Like, I think the only thing, like, I think the only way to sink this might literally be the, uh, scuttle button. So, I get this random feeling that the Megalodon doesn't like to come out and play during storms. For whatever reason, I can never seem to get them to attack the ship at the moment. It feels like I need, like, 20 of them in the water for them to get attracted. Oh, never mind. There it is. I was looking for you, buddy. <laughs> What's he, what's it doing? Okay, uh-oh. Uh, it's not going to try to come up from the bottom, is it? Hold on. Okay, I don't... Oh, it disappeared. I don't see it. Uh, uh, where are you at? Okay. Yep. Okay, Megalodon is here. All right, so just as soon as I was talking so highly about our Megalodon friend, it seemingly has disappeared once again. So what I think we're going to do, we're going to go back to the creative island, and I have a mission we can spawn in that's going to have a, a couple more Megalodons in it. So... I think this is going to be the ultimate test for this boat, or base, whatever you want to call it. All right, folks, it is time to get extreme here. Oh, no, I think I spawned that too close. Okay. Uh, they're going to they're gonna fall down and hopefully not prop themselves up against the boat. Or I should say, is this considered a boat? We'll just call it the base. All right, so there's a pack of megalodons. Oh, they're about to have uh, a head-on collision here. Hold on. Okay. Oh, okay, so that's the first bit of damage. Uh, where did it hit? Okay. Oh, it broke one of the uh, one of the little uh, rudders. You know, if they damage the doors down there, technically that's gonna make it sink because that's the, uh, the scuttle feature. Well, they uh, they went underwater and they they booked away. Not unless they're getting ready to attack me here. W what happened? Okay. So when in doubt, spawn all the megs. So I spawned in my custom meg mission. Uh. <laughs> Okay, one of these has got to attack this base, right? Okay, I'm pretty sure they're coming now. Uh, we'll know here in just a second if they all turn at the last moment, but there's a lot of fins coming this way. This is going to be great. All right, Houston, we have a bit of an issue here. It seems like the Megalodons have been nerfed or something. They don't they don't seem to be uh, very interested in this base. Either that or just for some reason they're not like, I don't know, it's got to be something about the base, right? They've never acted like this. All right, so we might have to just go in emergency mode here. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, we're probably just going to have to scuttle this thing. Yeah, this base <laughs> apparently is Megalodon proof. All right, you know what? Let's kick it up here. Let's hope they uh, maybe attack here in a second. And we're going to have to do it. Start scuttle now. There we go. Wait a minute. Wait just one minute. Are we finally smelling blood? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, so out of like the 50 Megalodons uh, that I've spawned, it seems like we have a group that is finally ready to attack. Here we go. Okay, you know what? Turn off the scuttle. Uh, turn it off. There we go. Scuttle's off. All right, let's let them attack here. Let's see if the uh, the base can hold up. Holy man. Okay, there we go. Wait, the boat just... Did it just shut off? Hold on. What happened to... The... Wait. What happened to the lights? Uh-oh. Uh, the doors. Wait. Oh, it kicked all the, uh, the power here. That's one cool thing that the Megalodons do when they hit your ship or if they hit, uh, basically anything now. It seems like they, uh, they trip the breakers. All right, there we go. Breakers are back on. Okay, so that Megalodon's riding. Did we, have we captured this one? Oh, geez. Wait, we have missiles again in the, oh, are you serious? It kicked it off again. Okay, turn it back on. All right, you know what? Let's try to get up to the turret. Uh, we might be able to shoot them with the missiles. Oh, yes. This might be excellent. Hold on, let's go ahead and jump up into there. Okay, so, wait. Where are my Megalodon friends? All right, we are in our turret. Let's go ahead and turn. Uh, yeah, we can go down some, so I should be able to hit something. All right, I got a group of Megalodons off the left side. Here we go. We're about to shoot some missiles at these. Uh, we better hit them now if they hit the boat. It's going to knock out the power again. So here we go. Fire barrage. All right. Missiles. Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, they're going through them. Oh, yeah. That was definitely probably a couple confirmed hits. They don't seem to care, though. 
All right, uh, let's get back down in the base. Oh boy. That's right, you run. <laughs> yes, that is awesome. Holy man, there's so much damage to the back of this. Oh, I hope the door still works. Uh, okay. Uh, this might be a bit troubling. Hold on, let's try to make this thing go. At least we're by the island here. Oh, there goes the generator. Uh, folks, we, uh, we do appear to be going down here. Oh, we're going down quick. Alright, so, uh, do we think we're gonna get attacked again? It, it's probably time to use that bow. We're not waiting around on this one. Uh, we need to get the heck out of here. Uh, this is where the craft is. Oh, this is where all the damage is. Hold on, open this. Okay. <laughs> Oh, this is fine. I probably should have picked up some scuba gear. Hold on. Get up here. Uh, okay. Uh, wait. Uh, okay, this is going fast. Okay, get in. Get in. Get in. Uh, no. No. Okay, get up. Uh, I'm going to be trapped in this room. Okay, get. No, right there. Okay. Engine start. Oh, the engine won't start. Wait, battery. Uh, on. Release. Uh, okay. Release the boat. Oh, and I'm holding my breath, basically. Come on. We're going out the back of the craft. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, this might not be fast enough. Um, uh, come on, I'm about to start dying here. Okay, we're releasing the boat. Yes! No! No, it just got caught on the door! Uh, okay. Hold on. Uh, step, wait. I can't get the engine on. I think it's because we're underwater. Hold on. Surface. Oh, we just got hit by a megalodon! Oh! Oh, really? I was gonna use that. Oh, there goes my boat. There. It literally just launched the boat. Um,. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, I'm just out in the... Hey, Megalodon! Oh, you just now decided to come back and attack it? Yeah, that's great. Uh, hey, my boat's over there. Hold on, let's see if we can get over to the little life raft. They have swallowed... Uh-oh. Well, there goes the, uh, the base. Yeah, they've, uh, kind of had their way with that. Uh, please don't attack my lifeboat, please. Holy man, that was intense. That was cool. Alright, almost there. Uh, yep, that's, it's going dim. It's all going dark, folks. <laughs> uh, I don't think they're interested in this thing. I might be able to get in this. Let's hope that engine cranks, maybe. I almost died trying to get this thing deployed. I think it's, it should obviously be cranked up before, but I couldn't crank it. I didn't realize that back room was flooding the way it was. All right, on up, up in here. Get in the helm. All right, do we still crank? Oh, wait, engine's, engine's on. Wait, is this battery? Wait, does this thing run? Uh, well, I think we're dead in the water here. You know what? We survived, though. But anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Stormworks. Hopefully you guys enjoy this episode. I want to thank you guys for all the love and support on the series. You guys are absolutely amazing. And we will see you guys next time in Stormworks. I think they're uh, destroying that. I also go check out the link for this uh, craft. Very awesome.